this video shows how to create a CUI ribbon tab. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new one to the top. Because I feel like I just don't have enough of them up here. Uh, so, I'm, so you just go ahead and type CUI. So you can go ahead to the transfer tab and create a new one and hit the new button. And I'm going to put this in my delete folder and call it C3DR underscore junk and then hit save. So then you're going to want to add it to your partial customization file. Go ahead and select it. And then it's going to automatically uh, select it from the list. And that way it filters the command list and your other values. So you can go ahead and create a new one, new command. And I'm going to go ahead and close or name this one. Close without saving, and then you can put your display name or the which will be the name, and in this case, I want it to be close all without saving, and then you can put uh, it in the macro. And so the caret c caret c just clears out the command line, uh, so if there's a command running, it'll cancel out of it. And then close all without saving to the command I want to run. And then you can put a semicolon at the end. And that's like it doing an enter. Uh, you can also just do a space. And that does the same thing. Uh, up here you can give it a description. And then down here, you can add an image. Uh, so you can either select one from the list. And a lot of these images will have like a 32-bit version. And so you can just go ahead and type uh, the name in if you want to use one of the pre-built ones. If you have an image that you want to bring in, you can hit the little ellipse and then add in that image you want. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick some random image And then you can create a 16-bit or a 32 not bit, uh, image if you want, um, and then have a small one and a large one. Um, in this case, I'm just going to have two big one, two big values. And so now that I have the command, and if you want to change the icons, you can just go ahead and change them. Um, up here, you can go to the ribbon, and you can create a tab that you want. Um, you can go ahead and select an existing name tab uh, if you want to merge them together. Um, so in this case, I'm going to add this to the Manage tab. So I'm going to right click and do New tab and then call it Manage. And then down here is an alias. And conceptually, if I have the same alias, AutoCAD should merge the tabs together. So to find that name, I'm going to go to, to the Civil 3D main customization, go to the ribbon, go to the tabs, and go to the Civil 3D manage. And the alias should be ID underscore value. So I'm going to go ahead and change the alias for manage to that same value. Oh, you have to hit the little ellipse button um, and then hit OK. So you have to hit the ellipse button and then add it in the value that you want. And then I'm going to add a new panel. And in this panel, I'm just going to call it uh, close. On row one, I'm going to go ahead and add my command. I'm going to do a small width text. I'm 
I like giving it a name that matches the command name. And then I want to add the close panel to my manage tab. And then I can hit apply and OK. It looks like it doesn't like that. That's been my experience. I'm not quite sure why this, why that's not merging. Yeah, so instead, I'm just going to add the manage the ribbon to my workspace. So you can go ahead and hit customize workspace. And then I can go to my CUIX. And then just click on the tab. So it's going to add the Manage tab. And then hit OK. And it should save the, the CUIX. And then now I have my command closed without saving. And then I can go ahead and click on the button. And it's going to close all the drawings that are open without saving them. And that's a hidden AutoCAD command. Um, if I want to change the image, let's say I change my mind and I want a different one, I can go ahead and type CUI. Select my, select the command. And then you can go ahead and select A revised image. And then you have to change both the small and the large image and then I can hit OK and then it should save the C3DR junk and the C3D workspace and I can see that the icon is now different. And so that's how you can create a tab, merge it with the out-of-the-box tab, and then change the image.